first thing in the new leadership position. Um, many people want it. And I didn't. I was very honest when I started my work with Exxon. I don't want any more management positions. I already had the CEO thing for some time, and I didn't want to go through it again. So I just completely rejected it. But then a few months ago, one of our board members asked me again, and here's what changed. When he did, there was one of those things, like a little voice in the back of my head that said, but what if, and then the thought came around, how can we better serve our mission? And our mission is to serve our clients and to serve our clients in their personal growth. So there was a very clear line of sight between what I'm passionate about and how we can serve our clients. And that really evolved into a sense of mission. And when I made that connection, my attitude changed completely. And I went from, I don't want to do this to, all right, I'm resisting it to then finally, all right, let's do this. And I got very excited and very energized. And what I did throughout the process was I just started capturing ideas as they came. I literally have a Nevernote note and whenever a thought would fly by, I would just put it there and say, okay, here's another thing that I want to remember so that if I do get this position, this is part of what drives what we're doing because we really can make something great out of this. So it feels so different when it is a natural progression of something that you're looking towards versus I'm really connecting with something, with a mission that is personal in nature, that is also going to inform the one of our organization, always in the service of our clients. So if there is one first lesson that I would like to share is find your why.